It's 10 something. I've been up for quite a, a little bit, but um, uh, there's quite a bit of things I have to get done today. I have to practice violin because I have my first FSYL rehearsal tomorrow. Um, uh, I need to like upload vlogs, delete vlogs, stuff like that, you know, the normal. Uh, I don't have to just practice FSYL music, but I still have all state that's next month. And uh, yeah, th those are the most important things. Then I'll probably cube and stuff like that. But right now I'm kind of lazy to do all the most important things. But uh, yeah. It's 12:17. I practice while, and I was also watching some um, the second episode of Big Brother 2 online, which is like from 2001. I mean, it's interesting. It was on YouTube, and I said watch it. I've watched parts of other Big Brothers before, but I kind of want to watch Big Brother 2. I watch like a few episodes a week. I'll be done. Actually, wait. Normal Big Brother, like like when you're actually watching like now, the Big Brother 19 is what's happening right now. It's three episodes a week, so say if I watch like this, I watch more like six episodes a week or something. I don't know, because I watch like two um, or three on a weekend day, then I'd finish watching it in like five, four weeks or so, but um, I don't really care about like the time. I'll just watch it when I feel like it, but that's just like a guess. It's like 2.32 now. I've been watching more of Big Brother 2. Probably gonna cube now or something like that. I haven't done really anything all day. I'm kind of tired, but I don't know. I need to do some more. I have to get some more things done. <sighs> and yeah. Here are PV average of 12 of 3.40. So yeah. It's 7:53. I haven't really done that much today. I probably wanted to do some more, like get some more stuff done, but I didn't really. I was kind of lazy. Tired, but yeah, it was after the first week of school, and yeah, it was pretty tiring because I had to wake up really early every day, and yeah. Look how much I schooled Noah. <laughs> yes, I'm vlogging this. So Is that me? I'm gonna have a challenge to see who could sing the alphabet with their eyes closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Wait. A, B, 7, 1, hashtag B. No, I did it wrong. Wait, I'm going to say then every, every word on this page right now, on your page right now. Math, Kahoot, 28 questions, are you ready? Question mark. I did that all of my eyes. Ooh. Don't know the language it's in. Now I'm vlogging. What, Noah? Okay, Noah, what do you think's going on? It's 1120. Um, I have to go to FSYO today, first rehearsal. Um, I was, I haven't cubed at all today, but I did like some, oh, I probably have some from um, today already, like from the live stream earlier, like last night actually, like, but it was past midnight. Uh, but, yeah, I practiced violin so more. And, yeah. There's probably more I could talk about, but it's not too interesting. I'm on my way to um, my violin uh, orchestra rehearsal. No. I haven't cubed it all today. I probably, when I get back, need to do stuff with deleting videos and whatever, but I can deal with that when I get back after five or so. So, brought some like homework and stuff that's like due tomorrow so I can get that done. Didn't really want to any other time in the weekend, so. I left off so I went pretty well, and I'm back here at my house. It's around 5 30. And also, Noah was at Home Depot and he was laying in, um, in baths on the shelf, so yeah. That is very interesting. If you want to see that, you should um, 
You should comment on all of No Problem Cubing's videos, asking for that video and ask it on his channel. So like, yeah. And also, also like, if you don't know his other channels other than No Problem Cubing, and just like spam in his videos asking like, uh, what are the uh, what are your other channels, and then so you can comment the same things on those channels. So yeah. It's a really good idea and you should try it. I got some pizza from Broadway or whatever. And yeah! August 20 first 2017. So apparently there was a solar eclipse today. It's 228 and in Orlando it gets the best at uh, 250. Um, so yeah, I should go check that out in like 20 minutes. I have like glasses or whatever so it doesn't hurt my eyes. But uh, yeah. much smaller in real life through the glasses it looks a lot slimmer but my phone like intenses the lightness and brightness of it in fact it's a lot a lot less like the um, length of it tried doing uh c finity third time i got a dina for uh the actually i did a time before this it took a little over 10 minutes but i kind of got a little lucky i guess these times but you know oh uh, well i got a really nice scoop average in cubing time um it's not like pv my pv is like actually really insane of 2.4 but a low three average is, i don't get those that often but so that's pretty good um but as you can see the last solve it was one move to sledge u perm which i one looked because on a sledge i can see these two pieces swap these two pieces swap so i say oh it's gonna be a u perm so i just like some sort of uh, good finger trick that did like the uh, the uh, layer the one move right into the u uh, the sledge and then I rotated U perm as quick as I could and it was a 162 like it had really good TPS but um this one it was like two moves to double sledge e um um Z perm and I it was so flawless because I uh I somehow saw right into the um double sledge so I went like. Uh, layer, uh, like layer, can uh, right into double sledge, Z perm, and yeah, and then the 299, it was a um, a bad layer into like a hedge. It was like a seven move layer into a hedge, but still, yeah, or it might have been sled. I'm not sure. And this one, I don't remember what I did. And this one was some bad, uh, like I the layer was so bad, but I got like a last four center skip. So yeah. <laughs> We're on PB average of five. I got some nice EPs on this solve. On these solves, I mean, uh, this solve right here, it had a um, what's it called? Scallop, scallop, cube shape into a um, like a two slice corner orientation. Uh, pretty normal EL, and then it had a um, just like a two opposite corner diag, um, corner permutation, and then it had just uh adjacent adjacent ep so yeah it was pretty nice and i got some nice eps on these other sub 20s uh, so uh, yeah and then this 32 was also good because i average around like 24 or so so this is a pretty nice average of five to actually get but uh yeah really happy with it. after going out i did get um i think that's my fastest ever counting as well on Meg Meg, so i'll continue this average another day so now I haven't vlogged at all today. It is what time? It's 2:33. Back at the karate school, I have some work I have to complete. Probably gonna uh, finish that Mega Minx average I was doing yesterday. I tried a counting sub 120. Um, after I get this homework and stuff done, I have to get some um for my environmental science AP class. I have to do like notes or whatever, but it's only on like five pages on this textbook. Then in like physics, I have to answer practice problems and watch some like videos. Um, in math, I have like five problems, so I'm not gonna do that till the morning on the way to school because I only have five left. There was 50 problems tonight, but the thing is that it's not like I'm sitting there struggling to figure it out. Like sometimes I could have been last year because we only under did it for one day. I'm like, oh, I haven't really done a lot of practice. This is stuff like the entire first nine weeks is all Calc AB. It's the all seven chapters from Calc AB. Right now we're on the second chapter, and we just went like we did. He just told us like we reviewed like two things, 
like the product and quotient rule which i already knew because we've done that so many times last year it's like extremely important in later things and applications of derivatives and all these things it comes into play like all the time so it's very it was very easy to remember that because we were even doing it last week well, i mean it was limits but i don't know I, and it's just not difficult it's difficult to forget easy stuff like that and then so there's a lot of stuff that had to do with derivatives and it was like 50 problems but to be honest it wasn't that difficult I, I i went through it pretty quickly i finished it i have this one class right now where we're not really doing anything so uh, i just finished it all during that class except for five problems and i already finished it uh 45 problems in like 45 minutes so like one minute per problem and to be honest i was pretty distracted uh, with uh, things going on around me so if i was just not distracted it would have been a lot quicker TV Mega Man Savage first sub 120. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was trying to roll it or whatever, but um, maybe maybe I should try another solve to see if I can get better on 123. But you know, maybe I could get better. But uh, yeah, pretty happy about my first sub 120. My previous PV for all this was 126 average. But you know, I don't really practice Mega Minx that well much, so it was not that difficult to break. So my attempt at rolling didn't really work too well. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is 4x4 PB, and it had double parity again like my last one. I mean, not double parity. Um, it had parity like that one. It was just PLL parity. thing is that my centers are pretty normal. I don't know. I think they were around like 8, 9 seconds or whatever, so it wasn't lucky centers. But the thing is, in the last center, I did like one move to preserve my first cross edge, and then I did uh, the last, uh, finish the last two centers. So then I put that cross edge in, and then the next cross edge was already done, so I only had to do two cross edges. And then the 323 was pretty smoothly. Usually, when I get lucky during the banning, my 323 doesn't end up so good. And I was like, I don't know, probably I think around 21 or 22 when I was on 3 3 stage, the F12 just went right into place. I had an F inverse sexy F prime, uh, um, um, uh, what was it? Um, uh, all, all and then I had PLL parity into an A perm, and so yeah, the three by three stage was pretty fast as well. So yeah, um, for having parity as well. So yeah, pretty happy, but it's PB by a tiny bit. I just got another four by four PB. This one had no parity. I was on the G perm. I looked down in the middle of the G perm and it said twenty nine. I was like, oh my gosh, stop the timer. Thirty point five four. Yes. What the heck? First um solves of the day on three by three, and I got. 13 sub 10s in a row which is pretty crazy i was just on a roll i was also doing some two by two and got some pretty good stuff on here i also got a 0.63 and i got a lot of nice solves as you can see earlier up here so yeah there's some things i want to talk about but i'm not going to do it just yet three by three only f12 average of 12 look what the average of 12 is i got my um average of 12 down to six flat and I got a sub 5 F12, it was a double F cross, so yeah, but, um, it was a weird finger trick one, so, um, it's not like it was, like, a really easy one, longer than a normal cross, so, yeah. So it's 359, and that thing I, earlier that I said I was going to talk about, I'm probably not going to talk about, because I'm probably going to wait till another day when the, this thing I'm going to talk about is more developed, I don't know what you're, t I, and you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, and it's extremely vague, but, I'm just not going to talk about it yet. What the heck? PV average of 5. I got a uh, sub 14 average of 5 on OH. Um, my counting solves were 12, 13, 15, I think. The 12 was a PLL skip. I don't know what the 13 is. It was just a good solve, you know. This one, um, I think it was also a PLL skip, was it? No, no, I think this one was full step. That's good. But the thing is, I was like on like an A perm at like, uh, like it was it just hit low 9 and like, it was like a flawless A perm, and yeah, I think this might be my second fastest solve ever, but yeah, I was just casually doing the OH and get a sub-14 average.